Billy Godelman notched the highest score of his career as he and much of the Essex top order battered their side into a position of real strength on the third day of the LV County Championship match in Leicester. Essex had begun the day in the field, trying to finish off the Leicestershire first innings, and they made a good start too, as Claude Henderson fell in the second full over of the day with an edge to O.A. Shah. David Masters claimed that wicket and was now one away from becoming the first bowler to take 50 championship wickets this summer. Tom New prevented that for a while, but then after he'd moved on to 34, he was leg before to the 33-year-old to become his 50th victim. Masters had five years at Grace Road, but he's become a better bowler since joining Essex, his third county, in 2008. He won't have minded too much being hit for six by Nadi Malik because he was soon able to grab his fifth wicket of this innings by having Harry Gurney caught behind. Masters finished with five for 67, his fourth five-wicket haul of the season, and he now needs only three more wickets for his best ever campaign. He'd helped to dismiss Leicestershire for 274, which gave Essex a first innings advantage of 48. And that was a lead which they were to build on greatly during the rest of the day. Tom Wesley was a man who kick-started their second innings, helped by some wayward bowling from the home side, who were missing their captain Matthew Hoggard with the new ball. The spinners of Henderson and Jigger Nake were soon called into the attack, but Wesley was able to work them to leg for a number of boundaries, as Essex added 55 runs off 16 overs before lunch. Wesley recorded his third half century in eight LV County Championship innings this summer on the resumption. He'd grabbed the ball by its horns and getting there from 55 deliveries, leaving Godelman in his wake. The former Essex Academy player was playing a delightful innings and showing a touch of class as he reached his highest score of the summer with boundary number 10. Godelman was happy to play second fiddle at this stage. This cut for four brought up the hundred as Essex started to take control of proceedings. It was the first century opening stand for the county for two years. And that stand had reached 104 when Wesley, having made 67 of them, slightly misjudged the length of this ball from Gurney and was bowled. Leicestershire would have hoped that one wicket would bring more, but their bowlers offered easy pickings to Godelman who eventually went to his 50 from his 139th delivery. This well-timed back foot push through the covers brought him just his sixth boundary after more than two and a half hours of crease occupation. He'd been joined by Shah with his side now well ahead of their opponents and looking to move out of sight. The spinners couldn't find much assistance from the wicket, which was unusual for Grace Road, and that allowed Essex to go to the tee break on 154 for one, now 202 runs ahead. Godelman, a former England under-19 player, has not really developed as he would have liked since scoring his career-best 113 not out on his championship debut for Middlesex back in 2007. But he was clearly seeing the cherry well enough now. So too was Shah, a former teammate of Godelman's at Middlesex. On his day, there are a few classier stroke makers on the circuit. After missing the start of his new career with Essex due to IPL commitments, Shah has made some decent contributions for his new county. This was his third 50 in only his fourth match at a ground he enjoys. This one had come off 76 balls. With that achieved, the interest was back at the other end, with Godelman now moving into the nervous 90s with a neat late cut. A quickly taken single then took into the fourth century of his first class career. It had been a fine effort showing lots of patience and skill. He'd now been batting for four and a quarter hours and had faced 225 balls. He was soon overtaking his previous best score for Essex of 106, made last summer on the ground he enjoys more than most, Taunton. And with this maximum, he overtook his previous best ever score of 113, which was also made at Taunton. Now, with the league going over 300, the batsmen decided that they had to press on with a declaration in mind, and Godelman was leg before to Nake's quicker delivery for a magnificent 130. That ended a partnership of 177 in 43 overs, but more wickets fell before the close. Ravi Bapara was also LBW to Nake for one, and Matt Walker gave the spinner his third wicket when he thrashed him to Henderson at long on after scoring 12. 
So Essex go into the final day on 306 for four, and that gives them a lead of 354. Whether Shah has time to get to his first 100 for Essex before the declaration, only time will tell. He needs another 16 runs to get there.